my lovelies this is sleeved mel 2015 thank you so much for joining in today i have some exciting things to talk about but first let's get to stats so back in july of july 2nd of 2015 i had the sleeve gastric sleeve surgery in tijuana mexico with dr elias ortiz and the best decision of my life and I love Dr. Elias Ortiz and the nurses and all the nurses and doctors there were just absolutely amazing. And I do recommend this doctor if you're going to choose to go to Mexico. So my starting weight was 220 pounds. My highest weight was 245, but I started this journey at 220. Um, my surgery date after the two-week pre-op diet, I was at 208. The first month I lost about, I dropped 20 pounds, crazy 20 pounds in, 20, in a, like a month and a half. And then ever since then I've been crazy losing 7 pounds per month. And I go through like a two week stall where I don't do anything and then the next week I lose a pound and then all of a sudden I drop like 5 or 6 pounds. But lately it's been a lot slower than what it usually has been. So I am so excited to announce to you guys that I have almost lost 75 pounds pounds since last July and it hasn't even been a year yet it's been almost eight months since my surgery so look at look at I'm like crossing my legs and I'm so comfortable sitting like this uh, I still got I've still got my skin you guys as as a, a every weight loss surgery patient there's my skin um but that's something that I can I can handle I don't care I really don't I really don't care about this right here I care more about the flab right here but I'll show that to you guys in a minute drum roll please I can't do a drum roll thank you my son's doing a drum roll I am down to uh, 145 my first goal Woo! Woo! guys I got to my first goal here is my happy dance Go and do it for me. Now watch me whip, kill it. Now watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip. Watch me nay nay. Why me do it? Now watch me whip, kill it. Watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip. Watch me nay nay. Can you? So what do you guys think? I I know. I was just. I'm so happy that I am here to 145. My first goal. I'm so happy. So really quick, let's do a skin flick. I will not, I don't like showing my body, so I'm really embarrassed about it, but okay. So here's this with pants on, okay. There's my tummy, but here's my skin. So I've got quite some skin, but it can be hidden. So it doesn't look like I have skin at all. So it's not so bad. I mean, I still got some rolls right here that I'm working on. But I've been I've been doing a lot of sit-ups. A lot of sit-ups to try to tone that tummy. And my hair is still short. And unfortunately, I am still losing hair. I go like this. And right now it's not so bad. But anyhow, I've been getting a lot of requests on asking what I am eating uh, throughout the day because they want to know how I'm breaking my stalls. I do have stalls every month. And it seems like I go through a whole week of a stall. And then, uh, I'm sorry, whole two weeks of a stall and I don't move anything on the scale and nothing moves. And I'm okay with that because I am down to my goal and I'm so happy. Got 10 pounds to reach my ultimate goal. I am so happy. So I'm going to go through as quick as possible without making this video so long about some of the things that I eat. Now, this is not uh, showing... Um, the chickens that I eat, the steak, the shrimp, um, all the like sensible meals that you do. I am not one of those people that have time to, to prep things. You know, like um, some people will start on a Sunday and prep their meals for the week. I just, I can't. I travel too much. And I just, I'm not home enough to be able to hold it in a freezer and traveling too much, it just get ruined and defrosted and ruined and stuff. So I don't prep any of my meals at all. I'm a, let's go to the store and get this. Let's go to the store and get this. Just because that's the way I am. Hi, Figaro. 
Okay, so first, um, I buy these a lot. Now, uh, these, this is called shrimp wonton soup. Wontons, I can't do noodles. So what I do is I kind of, I put the whole thing in my mouth and I kind of chew around and I spit, I know this is gross. I spit out the noodles around the shrimp or I peel it with my fingers. Sometimes it's too hot so I just put it in my mouth and I peel it with my tongue and teeth. But the juice and four shrimp, that's all there is in here and I eat it and I leave the noodles, the long tongue noodles out of it. Some weight loss surgery patients can do the noodles. I don't. But this is one of my ultimate favorite meals to eat for lunch or dinner. I also have this for lunch, my honey ham. The, oh, let me spatch track. This has nine grams of protein and one bowl is one serving. Nine grams of protein, uh, 17 grams of carbohydrates, a lot of sodium. If you're watching sodium, not for you. I don't watch my sodium. I'm good. Uh, honey ham. This has, and I eat this by itself, maybe with a piece of string cheese sometimes. Uh, serving size is two ounces, which is about, it's about a couple pieces of ham. Um, 10 grams of protein in each. I eat these too. Uh, these are some of my favorite snacks as I'm snacking throughout the day. P3s. I love P3s. 10 grams of protein. This one is a chicken and barbecue dip. Perfect size because it only has two to four strips of chicken in it. And that's all I can eat. I get full off just of that. So sometimes that's just my lunch. So I love these um, carbohydrates. 10 grams of protein and 12 grams of carbs. Yep. Okay, so water. Some of us weight loss surgery patients have a hard time drinking water alone. So I add Propel. Zero calories, zero sugar. So this does wonders for my drinking. I intake at least two water bottles, 16 ounce water bottles a day when I'm drinking Propel. Okay, and the other thing is, is that I got addicted to Gatorade 2. I do not use regular Gatorade, just Gatorade 2 because this is half the sugar than regular Gatorade. In fact, when I try to drink regular Gatorade, it's too sweet for me. So I drink G2s if I need that extra electrolyte. So these are the little cans of tuna. Tuna is great for protein. Uh, the, each can contains 12 grams of protein. This is great for a snack or your lunch. Um, those are great. So I get little cans and I can usually eat a whole can and I usually eat it by itself with no crackers. I don't need the crackers. I could just eat the tuna by itself and it's just as good. String cheese, that's a given. That's protein. Um, then I found these the other day. I want to try them. Aged cheddar, uh, quinoa puffs. And these have only five grams of uh, protein per one ounce. So I'm gonna try them on camera real quick. I found these at TJ Maxx. So I'm going to try these quinoa ones. I haven't tried them yet. Almost tastes like a rice cake a little bit. Some that I have to acquire a taste to. It's not bad. But I have to acquire a taste to this. Five grams of protein, it's about 120 calories. 18 grams of carbohydrate. The carbs are a little bit on the high side. Maybe because it's a rice or corn product. Okay, so first thing in the morning, I grab a protein drink and a protein bar. And it takes me two to three hours to finish both. In fact, it's a late afternoon and I haven't finished this yet. It takes me a long time to finish this because I'm shoving myself with actual food proteins. But I have this, this is my breakfast every single morning. I have it right next to me, next to my bed, and I wake up and I start chowing down on one of these. And if I have a craving for sweet or snack, get one of these, and it curbs my craving. But look what I found. These are for the people that don't care much about their carb intake as much as some others. Okay, this, my friends, is called the Complete Cookies. 8 grams of fiber, so that'll help your digestive tract. No eggs, no dairy, no soy, non-GMO, and vegan. And it's 16 grams per cookie. I can only eat a quarter of a cookie. So I'm only getting less than eight, 6 to 8 grams of uh, protein if, when I eat these. 
because I'm only eating a quarter, maybe even a half, because they are still too sweet. But where is the okay? But however, it has 24 grams of carbohydrates. Now you see this in eight months, I've gone down to my goal. I'm not so, excuse my language, anal about carbohydrates. I do keep it on the low because I don't eat rice. I don't eat noodles, pasta. I don't eat um, breads. So my carbs are 90% out of my daily intake. So when I eat something like this, it's okay. It can go into my carb count. 16 grams per cookie. And these cookies are as big as this box. So you can only eat a quarter or a half because of your... your Restriction, my restriction only allows me to eat. So I save it. So this box can last me two weeks at most. Last but not least, Parmesan shredded cheese. I love Parmesan shredded cheese. One gram of protein per serving, one tablespoon per serving. Delish, love Parmesan. I will snack on this almost every day throughout the day. Time out. So you guys, I am so, so super happy that I made it to my first goal. This is so exciting. I got 10 pounds to play with now. So I wanna lose 10 more pounds to be at my ultimate goal so I can go into maintenance phase. And my maintenance phase is gonna be a completely different diet to keep me where I'm at. I am giving myself a 10 pound play range from 135 to 145. So once I get down to 135, I'm okay with gaining four or five pounds to stay in that play range. So if I want to go to Disneyland and eat a churro or some ice cream or an ice cream sandwich, I can. Why? Because I'm giving myself that 10 pound play range so if I gain a couple of pounds, I know what I ate, I know what I did, and then I will go back and try to lose it again with by going back to my strict protein diet. Um, I'm not, I may add a few more carbs, but what I'm eating now is making me feel absolutely amazing 90% of the time. So um, I don't think I'm really gonna be changing my diet so much. I might be adding a little bit more. So like adding a little bit, maybe like some garlic toast or something. I'm going to have crunchy like croutons. I'm not going to have bread that's not toasted because I don't want that bread expanding in my stomach because I'm afraid of that. So anyhow, I am still in a size eight being at 145 and I'm okay with that. I have been able to get down snug into a size seven, but I am so comfortable where I'm at. And if you are planning on getting weight loss surgery down here in the future and your insurance doesn't cover it, Hit me up. I will give you some information about alighterme.com where I went to Mexico and this is the cutest thing. He is looking at his shadow. Um, I will give you the information. Um, thank you so much for those people who have been tagging me in their videos. I appreciate it. I will try to get to those as soon as possible. I am super busy, but I am watching and I am seeing all your tag videos and thank you for the shout outs. I truly appreciate it. You guys, I hope next week I'm on my journey down 10 pounds to 135. I'm so excited. I hope you enjoyed today's dance, and we will do another dance when we get to 135. I'm going to practice something. I'm going to learn a certain dance. We'll see. As long as I'm not line dancing. <laughs> anyway, this video has gone on too long. We will see you all next Thursday for another week. We will see you later. Love you guys. Ciao. Bye. Go and do it for me. Now watch me whip. Now watch me nay nay Okay Now watch me whip whip watch me nay nay Why me do it Now watch me whip kill it watch me nay nay Okay Now watch me whip whip watch me nay nay Can you do the stanky legs Do the stanky legs Now break your legs Break them Break your legs Right done Tell them break your legs Break them Break your legs Right done Don't even break your legs Break them Break your legs Right done Don't even break your legs Break them Break your legs